Hello everybody, it's Jill, here to make a quick video on a Saturday morning. I'm hoping that this won't be long, and I'm hoping not to edit it. I want to just do it live time, my own voice. Um, frankly, I just don't want to spend the time sitting at the computer and editing. So, any mistakes, any misspeaks, we're going to have to hopefully leave them in there. And today I am using Jane Davenport's Mermaid Markers. I have a little bit of a supply problem. I have a lot of art supplies that are sitting unused. I'm impulsive. I buy things. Now, I purchased these and used them a lot for a, quite a while. I used them heavily. As a matter of fact, some of them I was worried were going to run out because they were getting low. Um, but now they've been sitting for a long time unused. After I bought the first big set, I think I purchased two small additional sets, which... I really didn't need. Today I'm going to work with these three colors with Deep Sea, which is a nice dark blue purple. I'm going to work with Seashell, which is a oh, paler kind of orange carly color, and Byron Bay, which is a nice teal. So I find the kind of work you're going to see me do today, I do best when I limit myself to three colors because I get. I don't know. Three colors just works best for me. I, in order to be honest, I practiced this same technique three times this morning because it's been so long since I've done it, um, and I'm I'm rusty. So here's my water. Here's my towel. I hope it's all in the screen. My watercolor paper. I'm just using this Canson. XL watercolor. It's inexpensive. It's pretty decent. It's my go-to. I always have a pad of this somewhere. This one's running out. And I'm going to start right in. Um, let's hope this works. <laughs> okay, I really don't need many paintbrushes. So I'm going to start with no... Oh, there's a little mark there. I hope that doesn't show. No pencil. I'm going to start with my seashell. And... I'm going to go ahead and sketch a basic face. So, look, that dot's going to be that. Maybe I should start with a new piece of paper. Nah, I'm just going to leave that dot there. So, uh, I'm not worried if everything's even. I want it to be loose and painterly. This is my lightest color. I try and pick three colors, a really pale one a medium one, and a nice super dark. So here's the fold above her eye. I hope my hand's not in the way. And here are her eyebrows. Okay, just like I said, very basic, very loose. Uh, I can explain better as I go along what it is I'm doing. For now, you'll just have to wait and see. So some shading around her eyes. Okay. Uh, straighten that out a little because we'll just give her a really simple nose. Remember, this is just a first layer of color. Most details are going to be in the darker colors. Here's the mouth. I feel like I'm rushing, but I like to move fast. It keeps me loose. I'm just going to give a hint of a lower lip. Here's her chin. This is where I normally mess up, is on the shape face. <laughs> shape face, face, shape. See what I mean? No editing in this one. That's going to stay in. All right. So there's that side of her face. Let's see if I can get this side somewhat the same. Ah, eh, that's not bad. I can, I can live with that. So I'm going to give her some cheek color. We're going to wet all this with a nice watercolor brush. So, and it will even get paler, paler, softer, more washed out as we wet it. Once in a while, I don't do it over my painting because I sometimes get a big blob. There's a push spot. And when it starts getting real dry, oh, see, oh, see, I would have had a drop on my painting. So now it's nice and juicy. Look. Sometimes I tend to go too long without doing that. All right, she's just a little bit off center. Let's give her 
uh, some hint of okay so I don't know if that's all in the picture really quick really loose let's give her I don't know what kind of hair is she going to have um, I have to sketch it in so I can get the shading underneath of it with the coral so I think I think she's just going to have really simple let's go uh, I'm not thrilled with that shape Mm. Oh, should I give her ears? Let's give her a little hint of ears. But uh, now this, mm, I don't know. I don't know. It, look, it'll cover over with hair if we want to later. I want to make sure I get lots of cheek color in here. A little bit under the chin. Add a little more. Remember that drip? I'm going to grab that and use it it under here. Even if that dried up, I could reactivate it later, but you know I'm never going to remember it's there or find it when I need it, so I'm just going to try and use it up. Okay, let's put a little more. Her hair will come over her ears. Sorry if I'm mumbling. I'm kind of just talking to myself. Okay. I think that's a good start. All right, that'll probably do it for our base color. Now I just take a basic watercolor brush. This is a cheapy, best 12 round, which doesn't mean anything because, you know, every brush that's labeled 12 is different. Um, I, I'm keeping my water and my towel in here so you can see how much water I'm using. This first layer, you need a fair amount of water. And we just try and smooth it out. I don't, I don't want super smooth. I want... Once again, loose and painterly, but this will blend out. Here, get a little more water. This will blend out into a nice base. I'm, I'm pretty well scrubbing pretty hard, but this paper takes it. Um, some paper doesn't. Now, you'll notice, especially in the eyes, what I'm going for is a very loose three-layer look. You're going to see all three colors. This, like I said, is the base color, so let's just smooth it out a little. A little, little bit more water. I... Definitely want to leave some whites showing because I, I don't even I don't even want to go back and put them in. I know you can always put them in with a bunch of different stuff, but I just want I don't know if I left enough whites, but there's peeking through here here in the center of her eye here. That's actually enough on her eyes. I'm not liking this over here. Oh, now I'm starting to roll up a little bit of paper, but that's all right. Okay, I'm going to start with a clean, fresh, wet brush and start around her nose. We definitely don't want these here under her nose to be too hard of lines. The little... I'm going to spin it around so I can blend in this top part of her nose. Okay, good enough. You know, the lips are pretty well. I don't need anything else there at all. Except maybe soften it a little. Mm. Her chin line looks a little messy. Later on when we put in our next colors, a lot of that gets taken care of. So, smooth out some of this in her neck. This color of the three is the one that moves the least. It, I don't know why, it goes on the paper and uh, doesn't move a lot, but without a lot of scrubbing, we will give her some sort of some sort of shirt later with one of the next two colors. 
Okay. Her ear. Her ear. I'm not even blending the hair. That's just there so I know where it's kind of going to be. All right. So that's what we have. I'm not even going to bother to dry her with a dryer. Basically, I, I pick things up and wave it around a few times here. I'm going to go off camera. Wave it in the air. It can be somewhat wet. You don't want it shiny wet. You can see the last places I touched are real shiny wet. And some little paper pills on there. Um, we've almost completely lost her nose. That's okay. We'll be putting it back in. I'm, right now, I'm liking the look of the eyes and the mouth. Uh, I'm still not sure about the hair. So, I'm going to clean my brush, set it aside, get out my next color. It's hard to find a mid-range. Mid this one is pretty bright, pretty bold. But, when we add water, it will... Uh, tone down some. All right, her eyes feel fairly dry. I'm going to go in with the next. Imagine you're just adding details. Okay, a little bit. Mm. I don't know how much to add in here. You can see it's wet. See it's bleeding out a little bit, but that's all right. A little bit in her. Boy, her eyebrows aren't very even, are they? It's okay. Remember, I will admit, for a long time, I was drawing and painting and just longing, longing to have my paintings loose, painterly, you know, the, where it looked like you just slapped the paint around and it, and, it, and it all turns out. It took a long time and a lot of practice. Um, it's funny that it takes a lot of work to become painterly but I feel like I finally can somewhat do it now see I I may have rushed it that's bleeding a lot it's okay it all works I'm gonna put in this dark shadow on the side of her eye a little bit of an ear but that hair is gonna come down like this so just so we know where the hair is I may have added too much blue over there. We shall see. Look, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I will have learned what was too much or too little. Now, I'm looking at her two eyes. That one, the iris seems much bigger and wider than this one, so I'm going to add a little more in there. Okay, she's ugly right now, but trust me, Trust me. Stay with me. I gotta go light on this. Now, this lip line is kind of important. Bottom of her lip. That's enough. Let's put a ear and some hair on this side. Now let's see, this inside where her hair goes behind her head is going to be the darkest, so I put a lot in there. Oh, I wonder if you could just hear my dog bark. She's asking to come in. Okay. Hmm. Let's go over here. Another very dark area as it goes behind her neck. But I'm going to have to put some blue in her neck. Because right now, it's too harsh a contrast between the, the two. So let's just do this. Alright. Hmm. What do you think? Oh, I can see where... I need to put a whole lot more dark in over here. This is where I have to be careful. 
I don't want too much under here. I think I almost will just pick up blue. You'll see when I work with a wet brush, I'll pick up blue from somewhere else and add it in down there on her neck. Hmm, not liking that there. All right. So that's what we have. There's still some shiny wet on there. Um, I don't need to worry about this part being dry, though, because... I'm just going to wet it with my brush. So let's start, see what happens. Um, look, dipping in like this is a very juicy brush. Dipping in, wiping it off, quick tap on the towel, medium. Dipping in, quick wipe off, blot, 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 rub. That's a, a really dry brush. So I have juicy, medium, and somewhat dry. I'm going for medium. And let's start over here. I don't know what to say during this part, except just concentrate on what I'm doing. Go back, get a little, see how it started getting too dry started giving me a more dry brush effect. Oh, now see, I want to go back and catch that line. That's a little too harsh. Before I go any further, I soften out this line here. I wonder, while I'm at it, I should go around to the other side of her forehead. Okay, clean up my brush a little. This, I want pretty dry, because um, I want to smooth that out without making a big bloom. Although, you know, sometimes blooms really work in these pictures. Uh, you'll see me right there dip back in if I feel like I'm getting too much ink in my brush. I gotta go back to square, although that's a good time to put it down in your neck when you're trying to get rid of some extra ink. Oh, that's a little harsh. Let's see if I can keep lightening up. You can pull some back off. Oh, but that's okay. Let's do the other side. Let's see. Hmm. Make sure I go all the way down that side of the face. I didn't want, see, I just, I didn't want that dark under the eye. I want the under the eye to be kind of left open. I might be overworking some parts of the paper. Maybe. I definitely am overworking some parts of the paper. Okay. While I'm here, I'm going to be brave. Do the inside of the eye. I want some of that peachy color left. But I want a nice layer of the blue... Leaving some of it soft, some of it harsh. Okay. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the... Now you notice I'm moving all around different places of the picture. It's kind of the way it goes. Um, I wanted to do the two eyes at this, the inside of the eyes at the same time. So I kind of... I don't want them to match necessarily. But I do want them to be somewhat even toned. This here, hmm, how much is in my brush? This seems, oh, no, that's, 
Look, it was too white and harsh. Now it's got a big bloom in it. Uh, see if I can get that out. Oh, well. Might have to live with it. All right, nice dry brush. See what I can pick up. Sometimes it's better to just leave it, right? Keep messing with it, keep messing with it. It's only going to get worse. So, if you get the idea now of what I'm working on, there's two layers in her eyes. She's going to get a third. Okay. The nostrils. Got to be real careful of those. I can end up with a great big puddle of color. Uh, do I like that? I don't know. Let me see if I can get some of that out of there. It's always the hardest part for me is the underneath of the nose to make it look okay and shadowed, but not like a big hot mess. <laughs> How's that? Anybody with me on that one? Okay. Coming along, I can live with that. Let's do this little. Now, see, now I'm choosing to leave some hard lines. I like that. And at the end, you can decide if you like that as well. Okay. Her lips. I can't even really explain what my process is here on the mouth. I, I'm basically, I'm just winging it, in all honesty. And when I get a, a weird bleed like this here, sometimes I kind of like it. Sometimes I leave it. Mm, today, I don't know. This is too dark and too harsh. I'm going to try and lighten this up a little and turn it into that shadow under her lower lip. Okay. I'm not sure this coral here ever got wet. Okay, so on her face so far, mm, I didn't wet these out at all. Just a little, not a lot. Ah, look, I gave her some wild eyebrow there. See if I can take it off. That's all right. Now I'm going to tackle this under here. Ah, uh, it's kind of ucky there, isn't it? I don't know. We'll see what we can do later with the next layer. I'm going to pull some of this dark down into here. Just really quick. Impressionistic. Look, I need a little blue. I'm going to grab it from there. Did I overdo that? Not sure. No. No, I'm okay with that. Look, I left a bloom there, though. I can get rid of it. See if I can add. Nah, I think that's pretty well. Ruined under there. That ear's too bright. We just want to... Look, that ear got lost in a bloom. Now, before I go on to the, I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I put on the darkest layer, but I want to try something. I have to admit, I tried it for the first time before I came on camera. I want to try some of these clear stamps with, I picked out a butterfly, I picked out a little flower, I picked out this scrolly looking and these flowers. Let's try them. I'm going to set these over here. 
and I'm going to brush the mermaid marker on it. Let me get my cup back out. But first, I want to make sure there's no orange in there. Okay, so I have my little cup, and I'm going to use the turquoise, the Byron Bay. So first, I'm going to squeeze some out in here because I want it. I want my brush tip always nice and juicy. So let's see. I'm just going to brush it on. And I may not hit every part, that's okay. Uh, I don't want a perfect stamp. I want, you know, a nice watercolory look stamp. Okay, let's see. Oh, look, the tip is off. Let's see what happens. Ah, the whole thing's not sticking. Oh, oh, that's a little darker than I expected. Let's try a second second press. I hope that's on camera. Oh, not bad. Let me keep going with that. Although first I'm going to try and... You know why? I stuck it on the side that still has the... This plexi has two. Let me just take it off so I don't ever do that again. Okay? <laughs> there. My plexi still had uh, the protective coating on the one side. That's why it wasn't sticking on there. Alright, press it on real well. Take my, make sure my brush is juicy. Now, I hope this part isn't too tedious for you guys watching. But hey, if you wanted to follow along, you should have time to do it yourself, right? Uh, let's go this one this way. I want it to overlap onto her hair because I want it to kind of work in with her hair. You'll see later. I hope to go back in with a wet brush. Because with these movable, I don't know, what would you call this, ink color, watercolor in these brushes, it's just so nice that after you put them down, you can blend them, move them, soften them. Mm, I touched down there. Look, this is kind of busy. I'm not sure I'm going to... I always do that. I pick out four stamps and end up using one. <laughs> But that's pretty, isn't it? All right, let me keep going. No stopping to admire. Okay. Move over to this side. I'm going to go this way. And then this way. This should be really easy on the cleanup too. Rinse it under water, it'll all come off. This way. The only thing I do have to make sure is I don't get any on her face because that'll make a permanent mark. Okay. You know, in the past, when I've done these girls with these markers, I've always just kind of done a, a deep, dark background blending in. Like, say, take the blue of her hair and blend it right into the background. I don't think I've done many where I had design work in the background. So, for me, this is pretty cool. Oops. Dropped it. All right. It definitely needs a little bit more up in there. This, you know what? Look, you're seeing all kinds of... Take it off because this thing's just gonna get in the way of my stamp up there. I don't I don't know why I keep it on the pad anyway, except that it I don't know, it seems a little sturdier, a little more stable when you pick it up and move it around. Do you guys find that? Okay. So now I can do this. Hmm like that. Like that. Is there enough? Get one more. Yeah. So, hmm. Do I need another? Let's take that one off. I'm going to put the cap on this to avoid 
Sometimes when I put the cap on, I miss and I split the hairs and it really ruins the brush. You gotta be careful putting on your caps. Uh, let's try, oh, let's try the butterfly. Oh, see, that's what you get when you get a, uh, <laughs> a video with no editing. Let's try the butterfly and I'm gonna use the second color. Hmm, I'll just do it over the, over the towel. Hopefully it won't drip. Squeeze it. Oh, uh, yep. Drip on the towel. I have a feeling with this light color, it's not going to show nearly as much, but that's okay. Subtle is good. Now, I want an area that's pretty well dry. Let's go right there. Hmm, I don't know. Is that even going to show? Let's try it. Oh, look, it's mixing right on my, it picked up some of the blue. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. That's okay. It mixed a little with the blue, but there's nothing wrong with that. Keeps it all in the same color family. Um, but let's tap this off a little. All right, I can use the other side of the cup, I'm sure, without mixing it. Let's put this drip over here. There we go. My voice is a little bit hoarse. I don't know if I'm catching a cold, if I'm having some sort of allergy reaction, but I notice my voice is rough, I'm a little congested. All right, that's enough of that. All right. Oh, I should decide about her shirt though, right? Before we move on. Let's go two colors. Um, oh look, there's blue in the, hey, it works. I'm just, look. She's just going to have a shirt. This is over here is bothering me a little bit. I think I should, oh see, I almost hit the, the bristles putting the cap on because my hands are shaky. Let's take the butterfly back off. Put on our swirly. And see, this gets really dangerous now because I'm going to touch my paper. Find a wet spot on my towel. I'm going to touch my paper and that's going to transfer immediately. And knowing me, I would like touch her face. I suppose I should get a baby wipe clean some of that off my hands okay but you know me I'm too impulsive I just want to keep going I don't want to get up and go to the sink wash my hands stop the camera and well the baby wipes are down there on the floor I could grab them I suppose all right let's give her one more over here there I feel better about that. It completes the background. Okay. Set that aside. I'll clean it later. It, Like I said, it's all water soluble. It'll clean off really easily. Now, going back to the blue. Now would be the time, before I move to my third layer, how much do I want her hair to show? And how much do I want it to disappear into that? So if this was her hair... I had it coming down somewhat like this. And there's my dog barking again. My husband's downstairs. He will let her in. I turned my, my oldest son, when he moved out, I turned his bedroom into my art studio. So I have the luxury of a whole room and a table and beautiful Ikea shelving that my daughter-in-law gave me. Um, and ironically enough, I do most of my work on the sofa. <laughs> but when I film, I have to do it up here. So I can put my camera in my... Uh, if my camera is in a... I, I know I've said this before. My camera is in a selfie stick taped to my tripod over my shoulder. And it's not my camera, it's my iPhone. But I think it does an okay job without having to invest in a whole camera setup. So, I don't know, let me just, 
Now it's looking real busy. Maybe that's too much. Hey, what does a piece of paper cost? 20 cents? <laughs> Always remember that. Piece of paper. 25 cents, 20 cents. I don't know. It might even be cheaper than that. Now, one more time before I move on to my darkest color. I'm going to soften a little bit of this and make it... Ooh, look. The stamping stays there somewhat. As long as I don't brush over, I want to... Look, I want to keep that little butterfly. Let's go around him. As long as I don't go crazy with the brush and the strokes... So that's her hair. I'm afraid if I go over some of this background, what do you think? Let's let's try it. Come on. Be brave, Jill. Oh, hey, look. I said I wanted to keep my butterfly. I just went over it. It's okay. He's still peeking through there. I want to activate some of this. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Is that good in the camera? I hope so. Look how beautiful that is. Mm. Let me work on some of her hair over here. Busy. Beautiful but busy, right? We definitely want... This area all in here is way too white. Let's bring some color out. Maybe I stamped less over here. I don't know. You know, the other thing you could do here... Oh, look, I'm getting some blooms over here. That's not good. The other thing you could do here is spray. You know what? I'm going to do that next. I'm going to give it a little mist of random spray and see what activates. I could be sorry, right? Depends how much I like this <laughs> and how worried I am about ruining it. There's a particularly white spot there. That's too white there. I like these little orange highlights over here. I hope they stay. That is the only place the stamp went over her skin. So I make a decision. Do I keep it? Yeah, I'm just going to keep it. I could try and brush it out, right? Let me show you, just just so you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to clean my brush really well, make it oh, medium to very dry. And brush. And it's there a little bit, but not so much. Okay, let's look at it overall. It's busy. It's very busy. I could brush down the background a little more. Uh, do I want to activate anything in her dress? Probably not. Let me just soften that edge up a little. I don't like the shape of this shoulder, but that's all right. No one else but me will look at that. Um, here. Alright. Time to move on, I think, to our last color. Her chin got a little wobbly there. I'm still okay with that. Now this last color, this dark deep sea, I have to be careful and be real sparing with it because it will overpower. The most important part is her eyes, okay? So I'm going to try not to rest my arm in anything wet. I'm going to take this blue and go where I want the absolute darkest. Now, I'll show you a close-up here in a second. Now we have all three layers. You see what I'm going for in that eye? 
the light, the dark, and there's hard edges all over, and it's messy, and what I keep calling painterly. Look at the, look at the, dis <laughs> the distance between that eye and the nose and that eye and the nose. Whoops. But hey, remember, I didn't start with any pencil. I didn't do any grid lines. I didn't do any measuring. And in the end, it'll all be okay. Keep telling yourself that. It'll be okay. So, I don't like this one there. So there's the close-up of her two eyes. Oh, you know what? I missed. I like to put in a little bit of this line. Not solid. A little touch. That line. Definitely the darkest spot next is the nostrils. I'm not going to touch the little notch above her, but the lip line's kind of important, right? That's enough for me on the mouth. This is where the hardest decision comes in for me. Do I leave the darks only there in her face, or do I go whole hog? All right, so that ear is kind of a mess. We're going to sort of ignore it. Let me go in. I might be wrong. Let me go in with some of the darkest. Wow, this one is really juicy. It's got a lot of ink on it, which didn't let me be too subtle. <laughs> All right, so her ear is there. We're going to go just up inside of her hairline. Yeah, I think we needed it. The other danger with using these mermaid markers, if you don't like a lot of color, definitely don't use these intense dark ones. They just have so much color in them. Um, there is definitely a paler set. One of my sets, uh, I think the whole set was called Sun Bleached, and they're all very nice pale colors. I did do a picture with them. Um, as much as I say these can be too bright, I must like bright because I lean towards those dark ones. Let's see this hair. Now that ear is kind of big. Let's bring this hair down. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. The next hard decision, oh, see, I made that shape really wrong. I really didn't want to wet this layer down, but now I'm going to have to because I messed up that shape there. That's okay. It worked. And I can darken up her ear a little. I bring some nice drama in there on the side next to her hair. I'm going to do the other side now if it matches. Bring a little drama next to her eyes. Huh, that's still that ear. It's okay. On her eyes, I don't think I'm going to even wet that layer. I think that, that dark layer is going to stay. Although I might soften this up here in her upper lip a little. And while I have, see now I'll have some of that on my brush. I think I'll... Bring that lower lip out a little. Clean off my brush, get it nice and nice and dry. Smooth out that side. So what do you think? There's a little impromptu video. Now, if that background's too busy for you, uh, you could keep brushing over it, pale it down. I did say I might try some mist. I have this Mr. Pen, which is not the, it's not as fine as like the Tim Holtz uh, or Ranger Mister. Oh, uh, look, I like that. Okay, good call. What do you think? 
I just got, huh, Jill, make sure you don't spray her face. There we go. Tell me what you think. If you think it's too busy, I just got up. I hope I wasn't in the camera. I got up so I could show you some close-ups. Hmm. I hope you can see that. Her neck, her dress. The light. Hmm. Well, there you go. There's my girl for today. Mermaid markers and water. Three colors. Um, I hope you give it a try and have fun. Tell me what you think of the video. See you next time.